Hi, this is Michael with another Tip Tuesday video. Today I'm going to be talking about whenever I create a label for a commercial calibration lab that may have customers that have special date string format requirements. Now, instead of going into Print Builder and creating a specific label for each of those customers, what we could do is we could use a company custom field in order to have a um, kind of smart label that would allow us to put a specific date string format for each of those companies in that would be different instead of maintaining you know a long list of different labels. So first thing that we would need to do is under our add edit and companies is determine which company custom field we have under our custom information tab available that can store this information. In here, I've already filled out a date string format label under my system-wide preferences. Uh, and in here, what we can do is we can place a SQL style month, day, year uh, date format that can then be pulled into the Print Builder application in order to create that specific date string format. Um, so for this one, let's do a three digit month, two digit, and two digits. And let's see what we get on the label with that. One additional thing is I've already got the company that I want to test this label with selected. And I'm just going to right click on this calibration event and use that when designing a print builder to display that information. From here, I can go back to my home tab and then my print builder application. Then I can open up my specific label that I want to use. Now, in order for this to work, there will be some calc tab information that has to be placed in. Um, and this is using two different variables that are defined here. I'm pulling in uh, one of those variable information from that specific location that I placed the information in the company custom field. One thing that's not necessary, but I do it anyway just to make it nice and clear in the calc tab code is I will go ahead and place what I want my display format to be by default. Um, in here, then what I will do is I will check and see if the date string field is not blank, then I'm going to pull that in. Now this specific section down here is checking to make sure that there is a day for the calibration date on the label. If there is no day, I'm going to make sure that there is a day listed by leaving it in the original display format. Uh, depending on your quality processes and needs, this may or may not be a necessary step. Over on our design, if I click on my DB text fields, we can see that I have DB text 2 as the calibration date, which is going to be my schedule last, and DB text 3 is my schedule due date. So from here, if I go in and preview this, what we'll see is our three digit month, two digit date, and two digit year. If we wanted to try something else with that specific date for the calibration day, ensuring that that has a day in it, what we could do is if I remove that, I should get, um, say for example on this one, an October of 2022 as my due date, but I should see a October 4th, 2021 for my last calibration date. And this just ensures that the actual date of the calibration gets displayed on the label. Using the calc tab and some of those company fields, what you could do is consolidate down some of your certificates. For example, certificate level based on the service level provided for the customer. So whether or not you have a Z540 or a 17025 certificate, you could control what displays. Uh, additionally, you could set up workflow configuration and maybe a selection rule or a message in order to create messages or notes that would allow you to have customer specific information showing up instead of having individual events or uh, you know, some people have used a written list of customer requirements, for example, at the receiving area, and this will help 
integrate those into the calibration system. If you have any questions in regards to any of the activities shown here, please reach out at support at indiesoft.com and we'll be willing to help you. Thank you.